Thank you for choosing to purchase our e-foil surfboard. In order to make the installation easier, we have prepared a video guide to help you. Find the mast and board. You can see the top of the mast has a rubber seal on the surface with a three-phase connector and one blue water tube. And there are four screw connectors that fix the mast at the bottom of the board. Take the cables of mast through the port at the bottom of the board. Fix the mast with M8 screws. Ensure the mast is installed in place before tightening the screws completely, and then tighten the screws with a wrench. Tighten each screw at least twice to ensure a secure connection and seal. Be sure that all edges of mast are seated firmly against the bottom of the board. Take out the wing. Install the wing to the mast by using M8 screws. And tighten the screws again. Open the battery hatch door. Here is a three-phase connector of the propeller and a blue water tube. Connect the blue water tube. Plug the three-phase connector into the e-box by matching color. Make sure the two O-rings are fully inserted. Please note the connection colors must match, if connected incorrectly, the motor will reverse. Place the battery in the hatch and secure it with a buckle. Plug the battery connector into the battery and twist the cam lock connector 90 degrees to make the connector secure. Connect the data cable, make sure the connection is in place by an audible click. Now the installation of e-foil surfboard is complete. Check around the propeller to make sure it is clean of any debris. Press the power button to boot up the system. You need to match the hand controller when you turn it on at the first time. Press the matching button on the side of the e-box. At this moment, the power light will go out and enter the matching process. Take out the hand controller and press these three buttons at the same time for matching. Now the controller is successfully matched. The light of the e-box is also relightened. Double check there is no foreign objects around the propeller. Apply the controller to a small amount of throttle and make sure the propeller can work properly. Normally the propeller rotates anti-clockwise, if it's not, check the phase connector to make sure the colors match. Inspect the board compartment seals to ensure it is clean of any foreign objects. Carefully close the lid and fasten the latch. Now the installation and commissioning is complete. If you have any problems while watching the video, please contact our customer service team at any time. We will provide a one-on-one -on -one service to answer your questions and ensure that you can complete the installation. Thank you for choosing our products.